Uh, Mr. President, on one other matter. Once the budget is approved, we'll continue our work on the bipartisan Iran bill. Then it's my hope to turn to another bipartisan measure, the Bipartisan Congressional Trade Priorities and Accountability Act, TPA. This bill would enhance Congress' role in the trade process while ensuring presidents of either party have the necessary tools to secure strong, enforceable trade agreements for American workers. Here's why that's important. Without this bipartisan legislation, American workers and farmers, including from my home state of Kentucky, will not be able to reap the rewards of selling more made in America goods to places like Europe and the Pacific. This is a bill we should all want to support. So it won't surprise you to hear that this bill has substantial bipartisan support. It even passed the Finance Committee on an overwhelming vote of 20 to 6, 20 to 6. But of course, we've already heard of an attempt to stand in the way of this bipartisan effort to debate this legislation. We've already heard of yet another effort to make a partisan stand against a bipartisan accomplishment that would help grow opportunities for our constituents. So yes, some may oppose allowing American workers to compete and win in new markets. Some may not be all that excited about selling more products stamped made in America to places like Europe and the Pacific, but the reality is the American people deserve more opportunities, not more special interest roadblocks. That's why I plan with the support of members of both parties to turn to the Bipartisan Congressional Trade Priorities and Accountability Act once we finish the Iran bill.